Yo, people around the world, YouTube subscribers, this is your boy Drizzy, GLTP, bring another gaming for the people news. And of course, you ain't gonna hear in the curse news video because I tried to get right with Jesus. I told y'all I was gonna cover all like the the uh, conference that was going on in Paris for Sony, and I'm gonna get to it right now. What they showed was a game called Matter. Yeah, it was called Matterfall. Like it's a great title. It reminds you when you play the game. It's like a distinction between uh, Killzone and Crisis. Except like you, you, I think you in like some kind of training facility, and uh, you shooting up different kinds of enemies. Then you shooting up giant enemies. It's like like the enemies are in red and like you stand out as this gray figure and it's it's a really neat game uh, they just showed CG footage I have yet to see some gameplay another thing they showed was uh, a new character on Street Fighter 5 uh, for all you old heads know who it is is Dazim uh, they gave him a whole new makeover of uh, brand new moves on uh, seeing his special move where he'll like he'll blow this huge giant fireball and disappear on the other end it's really it's a really neat um neat tactic you know but uh it it didn't have like as many combos as you will see in uh, marvel versus capcom or the previous street fighter but dazim is one of those unique characters that it's hard to play with but once you master dazim he's a a really nice character to play as another thing they showed was uh Star Wars Battlefront, they show Bubble Fat. You play as Bubble Fat, you play as Princess Leia, and you play as Han Solo. Um, the gameplay was pretty neat, it was pretty cool. They even showed uh, Darth Vader's, uh, I think, uh, apprentice or a teacher, like going head up against uh, Luke Skywalker at the end. Like, I can't wait for this game. This game is like highly anticipated besides Black Ops 3. I'm probably going to get this game because, like, I seen uh, Han Solo, he was shooting at Darth Vader. They show Princess Leia, like, she uh, uncovers some kind of shield to protect the other players from getting hit. Then they show Bubble Fett, like, he could, he's got the ability where he could fly with his jetpack and shoot from, uh, shoot from above, which is, like, that seems a bit, a bit more OP, if I might add, um, it probably a way to take them out of the sky, but the move seems a bit quite OP. They're probably going to check that out in the end. Uh, another game they showed was Tekken 7. It didn't show too much gameplay over. They just showed like the timeline between Tekken 1 leading up to Tekken 7. Like from Tekken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It didn't show Tekken Tag Tournament, which I was quite surprised that they should have showed that, but... Once they show Tekken 7, it looks very realistic, the uh, CG graphics. They didn't show really no gameplay. They're just showing you the story between Hatachi uh, and uh, the uh, Mishima, the Mishima clan. And, like, it's shaping up to be a great game. They didn't give a release date out on it yet. I'm hoping they give a release date there soon. Probably they will be showing more of that in PlayStation Experience this December, which I will be covering. Another game they showed was Gran Turismo Sport. That game looks like any other Gran Turismo. One thing about Gran Turismo, I never had a gripe about is like how realistic their car, their cars look on the game. It's very realistic simulation when it's come to car driving. Like they got the the interior and the exterior of the car. It looks like the most realistic car game you have ever seen by far. Even if you even if you talk about Forza, Gran Turismo still got Forza in realism. Another game that they showed was, uh, they showed the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. They showed two minutes of it. And there was like two minutes of it to the point to where I was sold, take my money right now. The game was so realistic. Then on top of that, it was 60 frames per second. Like the game ran as smooth as possible. It showed characters that will probably be in the storyline like, uh, What's her name? I can't forget her name. She's like the, the woman with the ponytail. And the, uh, the other lady, they show both of them. They show like you could do different tactics in the game. Like you could roll. You could use Drake to do the uh, the rope swing. You could throw uh, different explosives. And like towards the end, they show like uh, each character got like, I, I guess, different kinds of specials they can do. It showed where uh, Drake threw down this little, this artifact, and the artifact turned into a, like a ghost statue. 
it was killing all the uh, enemies around him and stuff. And I'm like, I'm like I hope I hope Naughty Dog know what they're doing with this mother player because I've never seen that in any Uncharted game. But like I said, is this is Naughty Dog? They never made a bad game ever. And I, I hope they make this game as good as possible. Another game that they showed was Horizon Zero Down. They showed some more gameplay for it. If you for those who have seen uh, the E3 press conference, that's when they first showed Horizon uh, Zero Down, made by Guerrilla Games. It's shaping up to be a great game. Uh, you play with as this woman, like you in the wildlife, except the difference of being in the wildlife is you're using like a boy and arrow to take out like cyborg dinosaurs and stuff. Like it's like a combination between wildlife and technology between the two but instead you combat you combating technology i, I know it sounds confusing it sounds complicated but we'll just have to see more gameplay of it another game they showed was no man's sky they didn't show much of that they just showed uh a few minutes of their game like you discovering the world uh of each planet of sort me personally they hyping no man's sky up so much to where I, I say by the time the game comes out it won't be as good as the hype is because that's the way most games are take it from me look at uh destiny when destiny was getting hyped up where everybody first got the game and started playing it started becoming repetitive until bungie started listening to the fans they brought out the taken king which is an excellent game another game they showed which really caught my eye was a game called wild and what you doing, you playing as a some type of caveman guy who could call on animals and uh possess them to do your bidding. Like say for instance, if you wanna go hunting but you don't wanna do it by yourself, you call on a bear or you call on an eagle or a snake or any any I any animal you could uh possess and take over, whether it's a raven or you think of anything, a shark, a fish, or whatever, you can take over that animal and you can uh, go around in the wildlife trying to find tools and uh, tools and nutrients needed like to help your fellow compadres. But it's shaped enough to be a great game. They showed like a bit where he took over a raven and a raven clan attacked this cannibal, attacked all these uh, cannibal people, and he came up and started knocking the cannibal people over with the bear and he summoned he used to snake to summon some uh giant lady who was half naked i might add but yeah um uh, it's a very unique game I, I might check it out depending on how much it costs is it going to be a game an indie game or is it going to be a triple a game we have yet to see it's shaping up to be a wonderful game and my last touch on the game i'm going to cover is by aquatic dream them the same people that made Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. They made a game called Detroit. And you playing this this um this lady android uh walking around wanting to know uh what what's beyond life. Like you walking around seeing how life is, how your fellow androids are getting getting treated. But as she walks around the city, I like the other androids start looking at her like they stopped doing what they was doing for their uh, fellow human beings and started looking at what she was doing when she walking around the city like she got a mind of her own or something. Then when she when the camera panned out and it showed her face, it it was the, like the most realistic thing you have ever seen in a video game in video game history ever. And my thing is like I can't wait for this game. You know, Quiet Dream they've always made good video games, especially when they try to hire hire a certain female protagonist actors like to play the role can't wait for this game like the uh from beginning to end the uh the whole game was looking very realistic it was it did it didn't have not one pop out ratio or anything to conclude in that whole conference but uh yeah that's all the gaming news man i got for y'all today man i had to make this video as long as possible uh, like my video, dislike my video, it doesn't matter. I'll always be here making videos for you guys on up-to-date gaming news. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to uh, Killer Kev NYC's channel. And uh, I thank y'all for taking the time out to even watch my videos because, like I said before, without you people around the world, there wouldn't be no YouTube for people like me or other people making videos for you guys and girls on up-to-date gaming news. So until then, y'all take it easy. Don't forget to get right with Jesus. Peace.